Oh, you guys want supper. I'll be back. I'll be back to give you some lunch. It's early days. It's early. Here. I was gonna give, well, I'm gonna give these to the boys. I'll be back. I have a, no, I have a pair. I'll be back. Uh-oh. What is that about? This girl never does that. This is concerning. Uh-oh. What's the matter, Gracie? Oh, dear. I've been feeling so good today. Don't be scaring me. What's the matter? Oh, gosh. Do you have a bellyache? What's the matter? I don't know. You guys know what we're watching for. Get. Get. All right, there's something wrong. The trick is knowing your pony. You know your pony. What's the matter? Are you sick? What's the matter, Gracie? Hey, why are you laying down? guys welcome to today's video today I'm headed into town uh, really quick because I have to get money for the vet I choose to pay for the vet in cash I try we try and pay for everything we can in cash to uh, try and to try and keep our debt down we, have, we don't like debt. we're not a debt kind of family so anyway um, we believe that you should only have what you can afford only have what you pay for we do the Dave Ramsey thing or we have done it in the past it kind of been slipping a little so I gotta get to the bank when we get back I have so much to tell you guys I honestly believe that when I bring something that the chickens don't love, they're like, get me something better. Okay, so the vet should be here and within the next half hour. I told the girls not to feed the horses until I get back because I know it's going to get ugly. I'm going to tell you guys my plan. My plan for fixing the dominant issue that we have with this boy. Somebody on Instagram said that the reason Storm kicks up such a fuss when Gabby tells him to go fast is because of the dominance issue and I believe it. That's exactly the words I was looking for. Those are the words I've been looking for, you guys. That's what's wrong with Storm. Can I take a minute to point out the fact that my beautiful children are already down here doing chores while I had to go to the bank machine. Hello? Hello? Did you feed the ponies? Not Gracie, aw. You said, you guys are just such good horse girls. Look at she's not even tied up. Yeah. So how is she seem? Hungry? Hungry? Yeah, she's not been eating. We haven't been giving her food. She's been eating everything she can reach on the floor. Oh gosh. That's the way we roll on the day by day farm when we don't have time to clean the stall. <laughs> we just throw her in a cleaner stall. We'll be right back, Gracie. So what's the stall that she's in? She's hungry. She's going to be a, a knob for the vet. All right, let's go. Let's do this, Gabby. You got their their food? Yeah, Storm's going to be in his own field. Oh, he's going to freak out because the boys are going to show off. Yeah, the boys. All right, so I don't know why the fencing is so low, to be honest. And that's the middle one. Don't touch that. Fiona wants it up. He needs it to be there for the fence to work. All right, well, Dad, wa Dad wants all the rest of them to be super high. I don't know why they're so low. Fiona says I have to do this. But they don't just slide up and down. Like that's gonna be harder than she thinks. 
So basically, this is the gate. That's why I guess it's so low. But that is not cool, Sam. Gabby's hacking it. Gabby's doing it. So basically, this dude is going to throw a fit today. I'm going to explain it to anybody who missed yesterday's video. Basically, Storm is a really dominant horse. He has been since we got him. Every time we've asked him to do something, if it's not what he wants to do, he was like, he will buck, he will, he will do whatever. He always fights back, basically. But he's been really sweet with us other than that. He's been really sweet with us and really kind to us. And, like, he's been our beginner horse. He is a beginner horse. Like, he is a good, amazing, awesome horse. But his whole entire life he's been super aggressive, the dominant horse in the field. We've known it. It's been okay. Our other horses have gotten hurt by him, but her dynamics, I get it. So the problem started recently. We decided to separate Storm from the herd during the night because our pony, our Palomino pony, the lower guy on the in the herd, is getting huge cuts and, and he's been off lane. He's been having injuries that he doesn't need to have because of Storm. And I assumed that Storm was chasing off both of the horses and the, the smaller pony just didn't get out of the way. Like I gave him all the excuses, but what we saw last night was shocking. What happened when Storm, Storm charged you and Kaylee at the back of the pop property? Who did he go to? Finn. He went right for Finn. How'd you get him off? I don't know. The whip? She had a, a crop. You so, if you are ever in a bad situation, you want Gabby with you. She blocked Kaylee and saved Kaylee and saved Finn. Put herself at risk. Had a crop. Beat Finn Storm with the crop. Did it work? A little bit. A little bit. It got him off. It got him away. It got him moving. But he just kept circling. He kept just chasing everything that was moving. He chased me like I've never seen him. So angry. So aggressive. It's like a two-year-old when you take away their control for the first time. Like, it was terrible. It was a horrible, terrible experience. We vlogged it so that you guys could see that we're going to deal with it. Um, you are not allowed outside. What do you think you're doing? Get in there. Get in there. You're not allowed. Get in. So on to stressful thing number two. Uh, yesterday, um, two days ago, our little pony, Gracie, over here, is showing signs of a bellyache, a slight, super light colic. Like, not too much going on, but I'm having her check today. I think, I mean, Willow had the same thing a long time ago, and we fixed it with some, we fixed it past, it was no big deal. We are going into a weekend, so I want to have her checked just to make sure, just to, if she, if she has an issue, I want to get it fixed. Mm -hmm. I'll go to that come back when I have a shower because my hair is greasy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can have a shower. Of course you can. I'll clean the barn right now. The Somebody only needs to like to shower. The only thing Gabby likes to do is shower, but you know what? That's not a bad thing. I love a clean girl. I don't like having that. <laughs> yeah. You got wet. I know. Well, that will change, you guys. Don't be judging. That will change. There's a lot of 10-year-olds out there that don't love bathing. But you just give it another year or two, and she'll be in the bath all the time. The same thing's going to happen to you, Sophie. It's going to happen to you. You're going to see a boy one day, and you're going to be like, ooh, I want to be clean. No, because I already have a boyfriend. His name's Finn. And trust me, it's going to happen. Gabby's got her Who headphones on. Friend? Which one? This one? Yeah. Of course he is. He's the purring boy. Orange cats are notorious for being Mom, Orange cats are notorious for being happy. He's so big. He's not my little boy oh, because yeah. we're all happy and friendly. I gotta figure out when we're gonna spay and neuter them. I think he's gonna go first and get neutered. Because he's a boy. Because I do not want any accidental babies and having them together like, we're not going to know when she comes into heat. So, sooner is better for them, I think. So, the vet is on the way. He, we are the first call of the day. So, that's good. You guys ready? You guys are in charge of... I want to make a TikTok. All right. What do you want to make? I don't know. I love the TikTok you guys made for Kaylee's channel. Mm -hmm. When you guys came in out of the rain. I bear back and then do something. Every time Kaylee comes over, stress happens. Have you noticed that? No. The today... There was not a single issue with Storm and the other horses. Storm doesn't care that he's not in the barn with the, or in the field with the other horses. Why, you ask? Because Gabby's here. It's clearly a dominance issue. It clearly, it's me and Sophie and Sam that have to step up and, like, whip him into shape. And I don't mean whip. 
I know, he always eats just half of the apple. It's kind of cute. And don't get me wrong, I love Storm, will always love Storm, and I will never sell him. Yesterday was just a really bad day, and it just went to show us what we need to work on. All right, so it's exactly what I called it. I called it, I was gonna treat her for what I thought it was last night, but then decided to wait and let the vet look at her. All right, medicine for the pony. The girl. The girls left me. It started raining and they ran up to the house. Anyways, so the vet thing came to $480. $480, that's how much it cost me to call the vet. And I'm gonna show you guys what we got. So we got a Omeprazole. Um, he said that she would absolutely be fine. Probably because it's such a mild, he thinks that she has. He thinks that because we're having like such a big thing of uh, bot flies right now, that they burrow into the abdominal lining and that's what he thinks that it is. He thinks that she's got probably some bot flies in there so we are going to deworm her with a different deworming than we gave them just last month. So I'm gonna go get that. We're gonna do that to get rid of any bot worms but actually he's going, he did a fecal so he's gonna see what's in her stool and then we'll go from there. He did say uh, this stuff that I give her already, I only give her like a little tiny dose because she's never had a problem. Um, I'll increase it. He said I can give it to her with the Omeprazole because it will work immediately um, Where the Omeprazole takes a week and I decided to try the Omeprazole. I'm happy to have it We'll see how, how you know, we'll see what happens um, We have a friend. I have a friend that bought a really grouchy horse really grouchy like you walk by him and he would bite and he obviously he had ulcers really bad ulcers undiagnosed untreated for a long time and So she bought him the Omeprazole and gave it to him and he still was kind of grouchy and still like oh, seemed like he had issues but then i told her about our supplement and she bought it she's hooked her horse is the happiest horse now like it works the stuff works the stuff for ulcers like it, you just got to make sure like willow yeah willow gets no, this is our third bottle willow gets more of it than gracie because willow does have a problem hasn't had a problem in a year so anyways the other thing that I bought were all of these things. These are called special formula. I bought five of them just to have them on hand. And I'll tell you why. Every time our vet comes, I like to buy drugs. So the reason I bought it is because it works for thrush. Um, and actually, what he told me was super interesting. So you guys remember, Storm was lame all last year. All last summer, he was lame. He had this thrush in the back of his foot, made a little hole. And he says that... People, our farrier told us that it was thrush, and our trainer told us it was thrush. It looks like thrush, it smells like trash and thrush. What he said it actually was, was some kind of dermatitis. I forget what kind of dermatitis it was. I'll have to look it up, I wrote it down. Um, it was a der it's a type of dermatitis that is different than thrush. It ca it's caused by different bacteria, and that thrush will not make a horse lame or have any issues. You can clean it up, clear it up really well. Um, but this dermatitis gets right down deep in there and causes holes and cracks and just is a huge mess and our farrier told us that this special formula works amazing on the type of thrush that Storm had and we got it and it worked amazing and so um, he has never had a problem with it since he's never ever come back so um, I did buy some in case it does come back so at least I have it on hand having drugs on hand are, is so helpful when you have horses like so on to Gracie Gracie was such a good pony she was so good. She's like, now give me the food. So we had to wait 15 minutes and now I'm gonna give her the supplement because the Meprazole takes a while to work. Like a week, but the supplement will soothe her belly right away because after she eats is when she gets a bellyache. All right, the ponies are back together. Willow Gracie's finally eating. She's like, whoa, finally I have food. All right, we are home. Our house is a mess, so I can't even show you. It's disgusting. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean that up. Um, and while I do that, I want you guys to see something that happened a couple of days ago that I have not been able to fit in the vlog because our vlogs have been craziness. So anyways, uh, enjoy that. Wow. So today we got a letter from a young girl named Holly and she's only been watching us for a few months and she sent us the, these little things and she wrote a really nice letter. She made these little mementos for Stella and for Cookie and I think that's so super cute. I love the ribbons that she put on them.
These are super cute. I wish there was a way I could put their scent on them and then like tuck them into our our pillow or something so that we always had them. But thank you so much, Holly. That's so kind. I like she this. typed out this amazing letter for us. So we also got this package. Oh my goodness. I love it's so nice. Is there a letter? So uh, we also got a letter from LJ and Autumn and as she says that she appreciates the fact that we share our adventures on YouTube. She's always excited to see our videos. Uh, the girls have grown. Um, she said that she likes watching me navigate the world of owning horses for the first time. I have two my first horse, which I adopted two years ago, and she says I'm a big inspiration with my encouraging words, and I help her remember that life is not always perfect and that it's okay to mess up and learn from our mistakes. That's so kind. Anyway, she made us a mask. I hope they help during this time of uncertainty. I know you guys are happy to finally be opening up again, be safe and social distance. Here in the States, things are getting bad again. So... I did not tie it off the ear loop, so each of you can tie them to fit how you like your mask to fit. So uh, she made extra washable filters for each mask. They have removable nose wires. Um, anyway, her a name is LJ and Autumn. This is her. And where do you guys see the masks? Like this, I got this one. So if he gave me this one. Hope, Faith, and oh my gosh, it kind of looks like my new horse. But the, these are so nice. And then it has like a little pocket and you can put the filter in there. Made you a mask. Wait till you see it. It's oh, cool. so nice. Yeah, you don't see things. Sam get excited very often. And you don't see him smile very often. But that is a nice mask for him. Mask. Yeah, I love it. It is a, it is gorgeous. Like, you got to wear that. Like that. You can't tell. Oh, I can tell by your eyes. I love it. Thank you so much. How thoughtful, amazing. Like, oh, I've been looking at other people's I, I horse masks and yeah, I wanted one too. We might take a mold of these and try and make them for ourselves in homeschool this week because these are gorgeous. I literally love them. I'm going to adjust it to my face. Oh, they feel comfy too. I can breathe. I can breathe in it. I love it. Thank you so much. That's so sweet, so kind, so amazing. I literally am in love. We also got this letter from Cassidy. Um, this is her mare, Lily, and she wrote this big, long letter talking about how she has having trust issues with Lily because Lily is bucking and why she started doing it and, like, where they got her from and, and all those things. And she was asking for any advice, like, how the heck did Finn become such a good horse? And... I honestly don't know. He just, I don't know. He's happy here. He, he doesn't have the same issues as Lily. Definitely. He's an honest horse. He tells us every single time he doesn't like something. He still does do some. I mean, he really doesn't do. Still wearing her mask. I love my mask, you guys. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, this is the first mask I've ever had that's actually comfortable to wear. Like, it's gorgeous. Like, I, I love it. It has a thing that you can pinch and I can make it tighter. I just haven't done that. Finn doesn't have the same exact issues, and I can honestly say he's been a dream pony, and I don't know why. I feel like he's happy, he's at home, he loves the girl, he loves what he's doing right now, he loves the girl that's riding him, he loves... I'm riding him. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, Lil. I don't know what to tell you. Uh-oh. Oh my god. You're throwing a huge fit. Wow. Oh, Gabby, that is not a massive fit. Should have seen him yesterday. Going? Sorry, we were going over the hill and he's getting mad at that. Yeah. So, Fiona thinks it's just his dominance, but it's also a little herd bound because he herd -bound. he's fine as long as he sees them. But the problem is, if it was just herd bound, I wouldn't even care that much. It's the dominance, how he has to like. Beat he after. beat them up after like he, I do that. I would do that. he Gabby says she would do that <laughs> he Finn has a huge massive bump on his neck and a cut from what happened yesterday like I think that was Chino, cause Chino bites him no it was a uh, trust me so we're gonna just keep watching Finn run away no Finn Finn's a heart horse like but then also Finn's so annoying that Storm always beats him up I don't know. I don't think anybody is annoying enough to beat up. If somebody's that annoying, walk away. 
I know that's not how horses do it, but nobody deserves being beaten up. Finn's like, I'll stand here so you can see me. Like, I don't care I'll eat you dirt. Know. You better not be eating dirt. So this is where the magic happens, you guys. This is where all the work happens. This is where the video watching, the oh. game playing, the food eating. House. This is where it all happens. Look, look at my house. Roblox, is that what you're playing? Minecraft. Minecraft, what are you playing? SSO. SSO. So I always wonder why my cactuses are always uneven. Mm -hmm. It's because they keep growing. Oh, well yeah, that's what plants do. Uh, we also have, this is also where we play with the horses. It's also where the horses, or it's also where the dogs sleep. We got Molly over there. So I want to reveal you guys my new horse. Like, I don't know, I think, like we're definitely gonna go see her. We're making arrangements. I spent this whole day making arrangements. Like, I want to tell you guys about her, but I don't want to jinx it. Does that make sense? All right, let's go feed lunch. Like, it's to the point we're gonna go try her. She's three hours away. I know her color. I know how tall she is. I know what she looks like. I've seen videos, I've seen pictures. I know like, I know all the stuff about her. And I wanna share with you guys, but I don't wanna jinx it. Like, and I hope you guys aren't disappointed in what I chose. She knows such a funny horse. He just comes galloping across the field to me. And then when he's like five feet from me, he stops fast, slows down, and then walks slow up to me. Like, he's like, I'm here. I don't want to scare you. I don't like that you guys have flies on you. Oh my goodness, we gotta get your fly masks on. <laughs> oh my God, I do not love that. I don't like a horse walking behind me at all. Hey, <laughs> what is that? Oh my gosh. Then, seriously, <laughs> I have learned, never turn your back on a pony. I'm trying to think if I can make a run for it. <gasps> oh my goodness, I also learned never run. Never run from a horse, they think it's game on. All right, let's get in here. As you can see, Grace is feeling a lot better. So before, if we fed her, that's when she would get a bellyache. It was after she ate. She does look like she still has a bit of a bellyache. Come on, Gracie. Come on. What do you think about getting a new field mate? A little girl that that would that, that might love you. A new friend. What do you think about that? We're filling up the horse uh, water thing, so the water trough. That's part of being a horse person. They're always down here, and I think I'm gonna clean up the horse poop. But anyways, the vet phoned me back and said that. Gracie's blood work came back perfect. Her white blood cell count was the low end of normal, completely normal, but at the low end. So he figures that she probably did have like a little, does have like a little bit of a bleed, kind of confirming that she has an ulcer in there. And her fecal sample, her poop sample, showed a couple of bot flies in it. There were bot flies in it, not a lot, but enough. He said bot flies. I mean, what is that about? <laughs> She's like, yes, I want a new friend. That's the first time I've seen her run for fun. She's feeling better. He said that what happens at bot fight, like it, bot flies are getting really big right now. Like we have more of them right now. It's kind of like bot fly season where we live. And I don't know if that's true, but I, I see them more in the fall, in the early fall. So I think that's true. Anyways, um, he says once they get in, like if they eat them, they get in there and they burrow into their stomach lining and that and it, ca it causes like a ulcer kind of a pain kind of like a little sore there so that's what grace that's what she has she doesn't actually have true ulcers she he suspects that she's got a belly ache from butt fly eggs so willow could use another horse a bigger horse a horse that could tell her i'm the boss of you instead of her being a little terror although i'm not gonna lie we paint Willow in a bad light. She's actually a really, she's bossy, and that's her only one bad thing. She, is it raining? What the? What the heck? That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say any more, other than I'm really excited and I wanna share it with you guys so badly. Like, I suck at keeping secrets, but just so that I can have some fun with this, comment down below 
what breed you think I'm getting and what color you think I'm getting. Because I told you guys I want a mare. I want a mare for a lot of reasons and I'm going to explain it all when, when I get her, if I get her, which I think I'm going to get her. So comment below. I know I told you guys two breeds that I'm interested in and I have like all the reasons why I want the, one of those breeds. But anyway, below which one of those you guys think I'm going to get, which yeah, comment below. To be honest, I wish I had a friend that pushed me off the food all the time. Get away from the food, it's all mine. Let them eat it. Instead, I got a scared puppy. <laughs> She's like, help, the ponies are coming. I wonder where she learned that. I don't know why she runs from them. <laughs> why are you so scared, Molly? Are you afraid of, um, are you afraid of Gracie? She's like the, actually, Gracie chases her. Does Gracie chase you? You're okay. She's all wrapped around me. <laughs> so I was out there and it started raining a little tiny bit of drops and Storm ran all the way to the shelter. Went in the shelter, stuck his head out <laughs> and it stopped raining. Yeah, he's such a diva. <laughs> so. There he is. And these guys are under the tree. <laughs> They're not happy either. Don't you know that you're beautiful?